Are you ready? As you can see, the Pyrotech boys have been a little bit busy. Welcome to the all new set here at Pyrotech Studios. And this is the internet's number one favorite show. You have found the BYB Insider and I'm your host, the big guy. So this week, kiddies, we're running into weeks four and five here at the BYB season. Who got the absolute sweet joy of victory? And who walked away with bitter defeat? We'll find out in this episode. So let's not waste any time. Let's dig into week four. Here we go. All right, gang. We're going to start it off in Madison where the Monstars came in to face the Black Angels. Let's go ahead and dive inside the box scores. We'll lead it off with the Monstars who got a feeling great 31-point performance from Phillip Rivers. Marshall, Welker, Daniels, and Laurinaitis chipping in big. Flip it to the other side. Peyton did great. Kimbrell Tompkins in a feeling row, but when the rest of the team pulls something off like that, it leads to disaster as the Monstars take them 139.5 to 111. We're moving on. It was the Guild of Calamitous Intent coming to face. Let me kick Charlie Brown's bunch as we dive inside the box score. Leading it off, Tom Brady and Arian Foster with great games. Ben Jarvis, Green Ellis, and Stevie Johnson, though, with one point, uh, one point games. Flip it over to the Guild. Well, when you get the bottom half looking like that, kids, it tends to leave you coming up short. As the Kick Boys barely get by the Guild, 126.5 to 122. We're moving on. It was the machine coming in to face Boom Jesco White. Let's dive inside the box scores. For the machine, Kaepernick, Charles, Des Bryant, Bolden, Heath Miller, and Daryl Smith putting up nice games. Flip it to the other side. Well, folks, when your running backs total a grand total of four points and you get zero out of one of the defensive guys, it leads to a beatdown as the machine tear up the Boom Boys. 141 to 87.5. We got the Prestige Worldwide. Larry Dameron's boys coming to face the Mud Dogs as we're in the box score. Robert Griffin, Forte, Murray, Johnson, just points of plenty. Flip it to the other side. Decent looking points there, but coming up just a little bit short would be Tommy Quick. As the Mud Dogs fall prey to the boats and the hose. 142 to 127. We're moving on. It's the Hail Mary boys coming to the face. The Mud Fork three and outs as we're in the box scores. Drew Brees, Marshawn Lynch, and Pierre Garçon. With great point totals. Flip it to the other side. Alfred Morris found his way into the stretcher and Russell Wilson disappeared. Great big point total by Tony Gonzalez, but it just wasn't enough as the Mud Fork three and outs take out the Marys. 145.5 to 130, and we're to the game of the week. It's the Taylor Gang and the undefeated UPS. Will the Taylor Gang hang the first loss? Let's dive inside the box scores. Matt Ryan, Adrian Peterson, Giovanni Bernard, big games, but hardly any point totals coming out of the defense. As we flip it over for Jared, Tony Romo's 22, but Ray Rice only scored one, but it really didn't matter in the end. As the UPS boys fall prey and fall out of the ranks of the unbeaten, 157 to 145.5. So going into week five with the UPS boys going down in defeat, there will be no more undefeated dreams 
for any team in a BYB. But as we climbed into week five, Dean is still up for grabs and everybody's packed together. Who kept their hopes alive and who took a step back? Let's dive into week five, kids. Here we go. And as we dive into the week five scores, we're up with the machine and the McConnell Mud Dogs as we dive inside the box score. Aaron Rodgers, Chris Johnson, and Franco are great points, but once again, Tommy, where's your defense? Flip it on over to the other side, and honestly, the machine didn't give a crap about Tommy's defense as they completely dismantled and raked in points, and they end up pretty much dismantling the hard luck loser Mud Dogs. 144 to 122.5. Tommy, son, seek therapy. We're moving on. It's Taylor Gang and boom, Jessica. What? Wait, what? And it's the annual Jared Taylor name change. Hello, Cobra Kai. And it's Hello, Tony Romo leading the charge with 49 points. Can anybody ever remember when Tony Romo scored 49 points? Unfortunately, Boom Jessica White wished to God they hadn't because nobody showed up there and it ends up being a complete annihilation of them. Cobra Kai wins it by the biggest margin in BYB history, 194 to 88.5, which got us thinking, what was the highest points ever scored in a game? Let's dive into the BYB history books, kiddies. Here you go, a new feature here on the Insider. Leading off, it's Josh Workman and the Machine, week six in season four, a 175.5. Next up is Mark Muncy. Show sure enough, week five, season four, a big 177 by Mark Muncy. Then it's Hail Mary with 179 during their triumphant winning first season. And then there's Jared, who cares? But the most points scored in BYB history belongs to the Angels, a 194.5 in week one of this season. Just kidding, Jared. Congratulations from us. It's the Hail Mary gang in the guild. Let's dive inside the box scores. It was good luck for Michael Evans. Big Andrew luck with 20 points, but the bottom half was a little bit thin. But then again, when Julius Thomas goes off for 33 and Drew Brees has 23, that's a tough combination to beat any week. As unfortunately the Guild found out as the Marys take on 126.5 to 109.5. We're moving on. It's the Monstars and the Mud Fork 3 and ounce. Speaking of name changes or logo changes, Mark, remind me to change your logo, please. Dive inside the box score. For Mark, Russell Wilson had a good game, but no running back help, and Andre Johnson finding himself on the disabled list again. Flip it over to the other side, and it's pretty much the same story. No points in the middle, no points on the defense, and it ends up costing him large as the three and outs take the Monstars. 122.5 to 107. We're going on with the Angels. And team, let me kick the Angels losers of three straight contests coming in. And of course, when you cut no Sean Moreno Angels, and he ends up scoring 25 against you, it kind of hurts. But Tom Brady fell off the face of the planet with four points. But however, Peyton Manning didn't. 43 points from him. Deshaun with 26. And Rashad Jennings there finding his way to the IR. But who cares? As the Angels win it, 151 to 121. Big win from the Black Angel group as we move on to the game of the week. This one, kiddies for first place. It's the Prestige Worldwide Boys taking on the defending world champion UPS in the box scores we go. Terrell Pryor in a fielding game for RG3 with 23 points, but the bottom half, wow. Flipping on over and wow. But unfortunately for the UPS boys, it's Thomas and Julio on the IR, and it costed him large as they lose 97 to 84.5. So with week five in the books, we have a new little feature here on the BYB Insider we want to show you. It's the insanely expensive BYBinator 5000. 
come to daddy. Booyah! There it is, kitties. And there you can see the standings. So with Larry's, how can we say, unimpressive scrape by, he has now gained control and his Chalupa Batman team is up front. But as you can see, there's a whole gaggle of guys who are waiting to jump right on him just in case he slips. And that's going to do it for this episode of BYB Insider. I'm your host, Big Guy. Join us again in two weeks where we'll go over weeks six and seven here at the BYB. Who's going to be up front? Who's going to seize power of Dina? And who is literally going to fall off the face of the map? We'll find all that out in a couple weeks. But for this one, we're done. We'll see you later. BYB and Native 5000!